What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Lisa Norton's YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Thorne. I'm Kelly Freeberry. And where's Lisa? She's back home training, as she should. Okay. So Lisa's back home training, as she should, according to Kelly. Uh, but today, we're going to be building up Lisa's 2021 race bike for the season, the new Scott Plasma 6. And it's going to be heading off to St. Poulton. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not even sure. St. Pölten. St. Pölten. <laughs> no, that was like German. <laughs> not even German, like uh, Well, they speak Irish. German in Austria. Yeah. So anyways, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to jump right into the build and uh, yeah, get it all set up so it can be sent off to the fitters and yes, yeah, yeah. start the race season, right? Exactly. Cool. We better get going. Yeah, let's go. So good. Look at this one. I think this might be the fastest bike I ever had in my possession ever. It's gonna be super, super exciting. Hello everyone. We uh, just 
just unpacked my bike in St. Pelton. I got the bike built from Kalle and Jeff two weeks ago and I had a couple of training rides back home in Sweden getting a feel for the bike. We then packed it, traveled down to St. Pelton and this morning we assembled it and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my bike and um, the specifics about the Plasma 6, especially compared to the Plasma 5 and how this bike really works for me when I'm racing. The last couple of years I've ridden the Plasma 5. I've done a lot of uh, TTs, Swedish champs, uh, world champs, European champs, and then I used that bike for my tri races as well, which meant I had to modify the bike quite a bit to make it work for me during the triathlon. This bike, on the other hand, the Plasma 6, is quite different. First thing, it's not UCI legal, so I can't use this one for UCI races. Uh, and the best part with that, that it's all tailored for the triathlon needs. So in this bike, everything is integrated. I don't have to add stuff on top to get my hydration and nutrition with me, but everything is in or on the bike already. Uh, so the first difference from the Plasma 5 is integrated hydration system, which I get to through the straw. It contains 600 milliliters, which is quite a lot of sports drinks. And I can also refill it during my ride, so I can pick up a bottle from an aid station if I need more water or sports drink and I can fill it up and then continue on riding. Uh, I can remain aero while being while drinking from it, and I can also remain aero while getting to the gel flask that's down here, getting to the drink behind me, uh, where I can also choose between one or two bottles, which might be necessary when you're going to do my first Ironman. Um, for the half distance, I'm going to stick with one bottle on the back. I also have um, the storage box with me that's not on the Plasma 5, where I can keep stuff like um, a, um, a, so a tube, a gas canister. So if I get in trouble, and I need to stop to fix a flat or something, I can do that. And also for training riding, it's amazing to be able to bring your spares and not have everything in your back pocket. The one feature that's not on the bike is this box. And this one I'll put on for my Ironman races when I need more um, bars, gels, coffee and cake with me during the long riding. Uh, for the half distance, I'm not gonna use it, but it goes really easy onto the tower and I can get to like all the stuff that I need um, through my bars. Moving on to the cockpit, there's a few changes too from the Plasma 5. The most noticeable is the tower, uh, which makes it really easy to adjust the height where you want your pads and your poles, and also the angle of the poles. I opted to use the 15 degree angle to angle everything up, but you can go for a five or a 10 degree angle as well. For the base bar, uh, Syncross has got to offer its two different angles. I wanted the slightly negative angle because I think, I think it's um, a nicer feel than cornering, going downhill and going a little bit faster. But for being a bit more comfortable, you can have the slightly positive angle as well. I put on the drag to zero cockpit system with their high rise ski poles um, and their armrest. And the armrest allows me to be a little bit more narrow and a little bit more arrow when I'm down into the arrow position. Uh, I use the SRAM uh, 12 by 1 system, so I have SRAM lips quite hidden in here and down on the sides. And I have uh, some grip tape, which is the most arrow and aggressive you can have for um, arrow time trial racing. Talking about wheels, I will ride Swiss side wheels uh, for training or more windy, difficult races. I use the 800. For St. Pelton, I obviously use the disc, and it's the Hadron 2 Ultimate. And this disc is not for sale yet, so it's still a prototype. I ride with uh, Pirelli tires, the P0 SL Race, tubeless ready. Uh, I moved over to tubeless uh, tires last year and I really really like it. The feel, but most of all the speed <laughs> and the rolling resistance which is really good. Um, and they are 26 millimeter front and back. Uh, sometimes I use 28, especially for training. For this bike uh, we just opted to stick with the 26 back and front for 
uh, old tires. So that's all the details of my new bike. And now it's time for me to go and get some numbers, put the numbers on, all the hydration and nutrition, and put it into transition. And hopefully it will be a fast ride for me come Sunday.